Silver Thread, Spider Thread One day, Buddha was wandering through the heavens on the edge of the Lotus Flower Lake. At the bottom of the lake, Buddha could see the Naraka Hell. On this day, he saw a man named Kantaka who had died a few days earlier, suffering and fighting in this hell. Buddha felt compassion for this man and wanted to help everybody who had done a good deed in life, even if they had ended up in hell. Kantak had been a thief and had led a perverse life, which is how he had ended up in the Naraka. Nevertheless, he had once done a good deed. One day while he was walking, he saw a large spider and felt like squashing it. Instead, he stopped himself and decided to help it by leaving it to continue with its life. And he walked on. Buddha saw a good and generous spirit in this act and wanted to help him. So he tossed a long spider thread into the lake that reached down into the depths of hell where Kantaka was. Kantaka looked at this new element and realized that it was strong silver rope. But he didn't want to believe his luck and decided that it was just a hanging spider thread and it would be impossible to climb. But since he desperately wanted to escape Naraka, he tried anyway. He grabbed the rope, thinking that the climb would be very dangerous. The thread could break at any moment. But he began to climb up and up, using his hands and feet, taking great care not to slip. The climb up was long. Halfway up, he felt like looking down towards hell. Surely he was far away enough. Upwards he saw a light, and his only desire was to reach it. Looking down, he saw a horde of people climbing up behind him in an uninterrupted line from the depths of hell. He panicked. The rope was barely firm enough for him, but it would surely break under the weight of all these people, and they would all be back in hell. These people said, stay in hell. Why do they follow me, he cursed. At this precise moment, the thread gave away right where Kantuka's hands were, and they all fell to the murky depths of the lake. At the same time, the midday sun shone brightly in the lake, where Buddha was passing by.